working with State Senator Martin Dillon. See? Yes, yes. Okay. Sir. Yes. And uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York, 17th Senatorial District, which uh, the, uh, encompasses Greenpoint, Williamsburg, Bushwick, Cypress Hills, and City Line. Okay, so that's a pretty uh, broad area. Yes, it is. Geographically. Uh, if you were to uh, give us a capsule description though, of the demographics of it, what would it be? Well, um, when I first got elected in 2002, the population in that community was about 65% Latino, about 25% uh, African American, and then uh, the rest of the population was mixed with others, meaning whites, and Asian community. Um, but that since has changed. As you know, the Williamsburg and Greenpoint and even East uh, Bushwick community has gone through some gentrification. Uh -huh. So we have an influx of uh, young professionals moving into the district, which is really adverse, uh, adversely impacting uh, the housing situation and the rents in, in that community. And so what would be the, the percentages now? For example, the percentages of Latinos, has that dropped from 65 I, I would I, I would assume that it's dropped uh, since then, and I would say it's probably going to be a significant drop. Uh, Five points, ten uh, points? It could be as much as that, because um, if you go to Los Sures in my community, where mm -hmm. you had a population which was about uh, basically 80% Latino, and I, I would say that that has gone to maybe 50-50 at this point. So you don't represent the part of, of Williamsburg and the Sures on the side where it's mainly Hasidim? No, I... I, I, I Is that I, Martin Ka Marty Connor? Uh, no, that's uh, Dan Squadron okay. at this time. That's formerly Martin Connor's district. Okay. I represent um, the side of Los Sures that we know of Los Latinos on the right. other side of uh, Broadway. Okay, All yeah. right. So uh, what would, uh, you, you mentioned gentrification, what would you describe as the primary issues or needs of, of that area? Well, I, I think, um, you know, it has always been housing. As you know, I served in the city council for 10 years before I was in the Senate, which I have been here now eight years. And the, the prime issue has always been housing, um, people looking for a decent place to live. And now with the new, um, population moving in, it has even uh, magnified that problem where rents are not affordable uh, for individuals that live there and people who have been really the pillars of the community in terms of living within that community uh, at those moments like the 70s, which uh, is a blighted area. You have seen a new renaissance of new housing in, in the area. My first year here in the Senate, um, with all the new development in Greenpoint, Williamsburg, one of the things that I made sure we did was that they provided 33% affordable units before they can get any kind of government assistance in terms of building, and we were successful. Meaning as in state subsidized? In state subsidized or even city subsidized um, uh, for development in the community. And, and we actually were able to get legislation and, and signed in by the governor where 33% of the units on site have to be affordable units to make sure that those individuals that have been there uh, forever continue to live in the community that they reside. I know that when I go out to many graduations with students and uh, I try to instill in them uh, the importance of education because if they do not get educated, then I would afford to live in the community that they were raised in. And we have seen many um, families uh, with uh, low resources of income actually moving out to Pennsylvania and other areas in the community. And, you know, I even think and, and there's a program that New York City has where they'll actually pay these families a, a one-time allotment to move out, which I think is totally inappropriate. Basically to depopulate from certain groups? Is yes, that sir. what that's about? That's really what it's about, and that's something that's being done by the current administration in New York City. And what can you, uh, being a state senator, along, mm -hmm. say, with your other colleagues and, mm -hmm. and those in the assembly, uh, be able to do about that? Well, I mean, uh, I'm actually looking at that right now, and I'm talking to uh, actually uh, Assemblyman uh, Peter Rivera mm -hmm. um, to see if we could come up with some legislation really to, to stop that, because I believe that uh, what's actually being done there is you're using tax money to really gentrify the city of New York. And I think, unfortunately, I usually try to, to stay away from partisan politics, but I think now we're going on 20 years of uh, Republican administrations in New York City, which is something I thought would never happen in my lifetime. But, and so did a lot but of it's a reality. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.